Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on the on Kaspa. Um, which, if you look at the thumbnail picture, picture, you can see that we were much, much lower when I wanted to make the video uh, and when I analyzed it, um, but uh, but right now we're, we're super bullish, all right? And uh, and we'll, we'll talk about Kaspa, we'll talk about what's going on. Um, I'm not sure if I, if I missed any news, I'm almost, uh, almost thinking I have, even though... I do think this was already to be expected, all right? And this was um, uh, possible to be predicted. Um, and as far as I can see, there's also not um, something going on. It seems to be a technical move. And um, I want to start off with a little bit of a sad story. Um, and that is that yesterday I was, uh, I was trading, I was analyzing, I was looking through some cryptos. And what I saw is that uh, Kaspa in general has been on my watch list for a long period of time, all right? We, we were already... I think from this bottom right here, the 5th of July, we were slowly but surely uh, uh, getting more bullish, right? And then the main resistance level I had in mind was this right here at 18.3 cents, so 0 0.183. Um, so yesterday, what I saw, I think it was around like like, 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 like three or something right here. The price was, the, we, we just broke above this level right here at 18 cents. What I saw is that Caspa was technically getting bullish right here, and then we were also gaining momentum. Um, so I actually bought Caspa uh, right here and uh, I, I sold it. <laughs> I, I sold it at break even or at a small profit or something, uh, which is a, which, which was a big mistake because it was also a, a scalp. Um, I thought it was, I thought there was a possibility we would break out. I can show you the trade, all right? If, if you want to, I can I can I can pay I, I, I can paste the receipts on my Twitter. Um, let me know. But, uh, but no, Caspa was already gaining a lot of momentum. Yesterday, there was a reason to be bullish on this. But what we're seeing right now is, is we're going absolutely parabolic. All right. Open interest, momentum is skyrocketing. Uh, we had a massive bullish breakout. So for me, like I don't see any reason why we would not get up to our main resistance level. Right. The, the main resistance level since the beginning of, of June has been this level right here. Let's say between 20 and 19.3 cents. Um, so getting up there, I think, is to be expected. I think the main question is, is can we actually break above that? And honestly, that's a hard thing to say, all right, for two reasons. And that is that both the momentum that Caspa has is extreme, all right? So, so the, the momentum you see right now in for, for, for Caspa and also if you, if you compare that with, with other cryptos, like there's almost, you cannot see it right here, but um, the open interest, there, there's almost no crypto that has momentum that's going up like this especially not on, on a Saturday morning. We all know that the history of Caspa pumps, they can be huge, as you can see. But then that resistance level at 20 cents and 19 and a half cents is also very strong, right? So, so you have exceptional um, momentum right here, but you also have an exceptionally strong resistance level. So I do expect we'll get there. I expect us to find resistance there initially. And then it will very much depend on how strong that resistance is, is how strong that retrace is, um, on w whether we, 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 we will be able to, to break out later. Because ultimately what, what we want to get to, and, and you can already see that on the chart a bit, is this level around 22 and a half cents. Right there you have the 1.618 FIB. It's in line with the, the past moves. You have uh, the 1.618 FIB of this move down. So that's the main level we want to get to. Do I think that's a possibility? Yes, we can go even higher. Um, but for now, I think we will find resistance. So we'll do something like this. And then if we're able to hold some sort of a level at like 18 and a half cents and consolidate on top of that, um, then I think that's bullish enough to also break above uh, 20 cents and to start rallying up to that level. But initially, I've, I, I expect resistance. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.